are very sad to an Is that all, Pascal? What's an airhead? Someone who's so smart, they can control air with their mind! Wow, you're amazing! It will take more than that to stand in our way. That was hardly worth dirtying my blade. And while the enemy is distracted... Then? I eat an apple gel! I suggest you reverse that. I have to escape and warn everyone. Come on, just a little more. really close. Sharia, are you okay? Yes. Thank you so much, everyone. Uh, thank you. How could you have been so stupid? <laughs> no, I didn't mean... Things just Things happened. Things just happened? If we had been a minute later, then you would have been killed! I wasn't trying to be captured, Asbel. And you don't even know what happened, so stop yelling at me! Whoa! Hey there, kids! Now calm down! Everything's just fine, isn't it? No, no it, it isn't. isn't! Do you know how worried I was? You were worried? Oh, that's rich. Look, all this happened because I was trying to save you! You know, you've been treating me like crap ever since I came back here. Well, that's your fault. In fact, all this is your fault. Seven years ago, you walked out of my life. 
You never came back. I didn't know if I'd ever see you again. I missed you. Damn it. I missed you so much. I wanted to come see you, but... I was worried you wouldn't want me there. <laughs> so I didn't. Sorry. I felt like I couldn't come back till I was a knight. Aw, they're so close they make me jealous. Indeed. Both of you just shut up! Aspel's nothing but a big jerk, and I don't care about him at all! <laughs> there we go. That's the sherry I remember. <gasps> and what exactly is that supposed to mean? Take it easy, Sharia. It just means that it's time for you to relax a little. I'm really glad that you're the same girl I used to know. And I'm also really glad that... Well, I mean, I'm just... I'm just glad that you're safe. Is your... fight over? Our fight? Yeah, it's over. We're good now. Isn't that right, Sharia? Huh? Yes. It's all over. So... Are you friends? <clears throat> yes. Good then. Make a friendship pact. of your jokes, Pascal. Well, we should start heading back. We need to report our success. Right. Okay. Anticipate a challenge. I think that's all of them. Sharia, I'm glad you're safe. This would not have happened if I had monitored my subordinates more closely. I apologize. Well, it's over now, so there's no need to worry. That's a terrible wound. His plan was coming undone, and so he stabbed himself. It was incredibly foolish. You'll be all right. I'll take care of you.
Y you You should be fine now. Just make sure to get lots of rest. I treated you poorly. Why are you doing this? Let's agree to forget all that, all right? Thank you. And the next time you feel like doing something crazy, stop and think about it. I will. Come on, let's get to Strata and deliver that letter. Sheria, are you coming? Yes, of course. All right, kids, let's get walking. Wait, please. Take this. I meant to give it to you earlier, but things got hectic. Hmm, what's this bag? It's nothing really. It's just a good luck charm. Anyway, if you're going to go, you'd best get moving. You got it. Farewell. And be careful. Hmm. What's on your mind, Asbel? I got this good luck charm from Hubert, and I'm trying to figure out what he meant by it. Maybe it's just his own way of worrying. How so? I'm sure he remembers heading to Strata seven years ago. Alone and scared. He probably can't help but think of you making the same trip. Even after all that time. Sheria, we have to save him. Yes, we will. Don't anticipate a challenge. <laughs> Great! Why the pigtails, Sophie? Pigtails? Your hair, those! These? The captain said they'd let me fly through the air. Oh, I get it! Doing so bad there yourself, Asbel.
Asbel, can I see what Hubert gave you? Must be nice to get a charm from your little bro. That's funny. When Asbel first entered the Academy, he talked about his brother all the time. Captain, come on. We don't need to bring all that up now. I want to hear it. Me too. Asbel's brother had been sent to Strata, and he worried about him constantly. Was he lonely? Was he being bullied? His brother was a quiet sort, and Asbel worried others would mistake that for weakness. You even sent him a letter, if I remember correctly. Yeah, but I never got a reply. I'm sure he knew you were thinking of him. I hope so. Here's the charm back. It's a special gift from Hubert. I'm sure it will protect you. Thanks, brother. Okay, we're almost to the port. Let's hurry. Stratton's soldiers are guarding the port. We can take that boat to Strata. It'll be a while before we reach Strata. We probably ought to eat something to tide us over. Good idea. I bet the cafeteria on board will be expensive. Sure, yeah. You should eat something too, Sophie. Because if you decide you're hungry later, it'll be too late once we're on board. Okay, I understand. You too, Pascal. Yeah, whatevs. I'm not hungry. That doesn't matter. Eat something. They aren't even selling anything good around here. What's wrong with grilled chicken? Well, you know, I'm not into the greasy stuff. You like grilled chicken, Sharia? Of course! It's like they say, real women eat chicken. Only you say that. Oh, Sharia, I picked this up earlier. Oh, 
I thought I'd lost this. Thank you. Is it the same Sophia I gave you? Huh? Um, well, yeah, it is. Is that okay? The times we spent together are some of my favorite memories. And after everyone left and I was alone, I used those memories to keep going. I honestly never thought we'd be together again. I mean all of us. Sophie too. Not just you and me. I understand. I'm happy we're all together again too. I don't think you understand anything. Your Majesty, you should rest. I must insist that you return to your room at once. I'm fine. There is no need. But, sire, you are still recovering from the grievous wounds you received. I am not a normal human, Dallin. What does that mean? I am the King of Windor. Do not think to equate me with mere commoners. The king must be strong, and I must become even stronger! And I know just what to do. There is great power here in Windor. And not just here. This entire world is filled with incredible power. <laughs> Huh? I wonder how long it'll take to reach you, Liberté. Pardon me, but are you heading to the capital? Unfortunately, the road is currently blocked by the Rockagon. The Rockagon? It's a large monster with a rock-like appearance. Still, this is odd. I'd heard that the Rockagon was an intelligent and docile creature that never troubled humans. Normally that's true, but right now it's rampaging on the high road between Sable Isole and the capital. It's a dangerous situation, so the military has closed the high road to all through traffic. Thank you for informing us. I'm impressed you know so much about the local wildlife, Captain. I spent time here before joining the Knights. The Rockagong is beloved among the citizens of Strata. So, what's the plan, Asbel? Hard to say without knowing more about the situation. For now, let's head for the town of Sable Isole.
Asbel, I've been wondering, when did His Majesty's behavior begin to change? When we first saw him again, he seemed like the same Richard we knew before. But soon after that, his personality began to change. I wonder what happened to him. The last time we saw him, back at Launt, I could barely recognize him. Hmm. It's possible he may never return to the man he used to be. That's not true. Sharia? Richard will come back. Everything will be like it was before. And the same goes for Hubert. I just know it. Don't worry. I'm not giving up on them. Huh. <laughs> If a liar licks the salt, it'll taste totally sweet! There aren't any liars in our group, Pascal. Well, we can try it out. Everyone give it a lick. I can't wait to see who's a big fat liar! <sighs> I'm up. Very mm. well. Mm. Mm. If I must... Mm. Mm. Huh? Whoa, so salty and gross! <laughs> what about you, Asbel? Oh, yeah, salty. I had too much. Blech. Everyone could taste it? It's salty, isn't it, Sharia? Uh, wow, it is so salty. Blech. Sharia, you're acting a little odd. Huh? What? No, I'm not. I'm fine. Let's talk about Captain Malik instead. Are you okay? You need to watch your blood pressure. Hey. Danger and fled. I don't anticipate a challenge. Yeah. 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 
It will take more than that to stand in our way. It's important to pay your respects. Okay. Not like that. This? No, I... Never mind. What's wrong? Why are you sighing like that? My throat is so dry. I'm gonna keel over from this crazy heat. Aren't you all worried and stuff, Captain? Perhaps we should seek aid from this cactus. Cactus? The ability to store water has made the Strata Cactus a vital resource for the people here. You just cut into it, like this, and there you go. Clean, fresh water. You're amazing, Captain. Want some? Oh, please. I'm so thirsty. I owe you, Captain. How was it? Tasty? Warm and gross. It tastes green. Yeah. Thank you. 
Stay sharp, even against Chuck. Now you've seen our true strength. Huh? I was barely even trying. Really, Asbel? That was your true strength? Huh? so far, but isn't that Raka whatever up ahead? Let's ask around. The town people should know something. That sounds like a good idea.
Don't kill the Rakugong. It's survived for eons and has great scientific value. I don't want the Rakugong to die. We're, we're not here to kill it. We, we just came to investigate. Then why is the military deployed on the high road, huh? Answer us that! We did it so we could initiate rescue operations in case the creature starts hurting citizens. Oh, someone get me out of here. Wow, man! The Rockagong's got its own fan club and everything! That's no surprise. It's a gentle beast that never caused problems for anyone. Those calling to save the Rockagong are growing by the day. However, there are many who need to use the road, and therefore wish the creature dispatched by any means necessary. The will of the people is very divided. If nothing is done, the situation will only grow worse. This is a problem. We need to get to you, Liberté, as soon as possible. That's unfortunate. I don't see this being resolved anytime soon. What do we do? Captain, in a worst-case scenario, how dangerous could the Rockagon be? I've heard it's quite large, but aside from that, I don't know. I've never seen it myself. We should just hit the high road and see what happens. Then, if it attacks or whatever, we can just scream and run away! I guess that's a plan. Well, we certainly won't reach the capital by standing around here. Let's go. No! Sophie, please! You can't be so finicky all the time. What's wrong? Sophie? Sophie won't eat anything. She's so picky. It's fine. She doesn't have to eat anything she doesn't want to. Right, Sophie? Yeah. You coddle her too much, Asbel. She's not a child, you know. <sighs> what am I gonna do with you two? So, what do you want for dinner anyway? Curry sounds good. I suppose you want it mild. Yeah. You're both such children. Aw, hey, come on. to take you up on your offer. Sharia, do you know about the Rakugong? Well, not really, but I know it's a monster and probably dangerous, so I think we're better off avoiding it. 
But everyone in the city was all like, no, dudes, don't kill it! So it's probably super cute. The Rockagong is cute? It's called a Rockagong. It probably takes rocks and gagongs people with them. Gagong! What is wrong with you people? I don't anticipate a challenge. Yay, alright! I did it! Go me! <laughs> there she goes again. It will take more than that to stand in our way. Shaking. Is it an earthquake? Hey, not cool! Where did this stupid sandstorm come from? Look, over there!
Where are we? Sharia, wake up! Huh? Asbel? Oh no! Sophie, get up! Sophie! Wait, are we inside the Rockagon? We're in its stomach, to be more precise. In its stomach? No way! Oh my gosh, this is great! Who knew this thing would be so big? At least someone is having a good time. Sticky. Ugh, gross! What is that stuff? Well, if we're in the stomach, it's probably some kind of horribly toxic acid. We should get out of here. I don't really want to be dissolved by stomach acid. What would you suggest? Mm, let's try that way. It looks kind of blur, but it's probably where the mouth is. Otherwise, we gotta go out the butt. Uh, uh, absolutely not. Unbelievable! If it makes you feel better, I'm almost sorta totally sure this leads to the head. I hope so. If we don't hurry, we'll be digested and end up going out its butt anyway. This is not happening. Swallowed alive by a rockagong. That's new. What a mess. So, does anyone know where we are, or whatever? Somewhere near its tail, maybe? In that case, our fastest escape route will be out the boat. Okay, that's enough. How are you all so calm? I can't stand this one more second. Sharia, listen. Hmm? Everyone thinks we should leave through the butt. Let's search for the butt, Sharia. It's the only way. Um, Sophie? You are making things much worse! Such a child. It's because I'm an adult that I can't take it! Huge! Be careful! We will survive! Pascal, what's an airhead? Someone who's so smart they can control air with their mind! Wow, you're amazing! Look over there. Wow, look at that! It even swallowed a house! At least it's not picky. Unbelievable. The outside looks undamaged, which means the inside might be habitable. Let's take a look. <laughs> 